Let's look at how to make an image black and white or grayscale and I'll show you a few different options and some of those give you a little bit more control over the lights and darks. So the first quickest way is image mode grayscale and you have to discard so that's a really quick way. I'm gonna command Z to undo Another way would be to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. Another way to get to that adjustment layer is in your Layers panel. The little circle has black and white. This gives you a little bit more fine-tuning control to get a good contrast in the blacks and whites of the photo. I'm going to click Auto and see where that puts us. Not a whole lot. You can also test some presets to see if that'll help give your image the variety it needs. So you can continue to refine that. The nice thing about using an adjustment layer is that you can try some different settings and then you can turn those off. Or if you wanted to change the opacity on different layers, you can really build up and fine tune. Another option would be to use an action. So if you go to your action, or if you don't have the open window, actions. In your flyout menu, I believe it comes with this lab black and white technique, which I've opened here and it's got one photo toner technique. You can hit play and it's going to run through that list of actions. It's asking me to set this toner color right now in which you can turn that off later if you wanted. So now if I go back to my layers I can see it did convert the background image so you might want to save this as a different file name if you wanted to keep the color as a working file. So those are some ways to convert your image to black and white.